Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Formula Pi Grand Final. We are so excited tonight. This is going to be awesome. Uh, we've got a slightly different setup tonight. Uh, Tim is sitting right next to me tonight. So, hello, everyone. Th look, look, he's, he's not in a corner, uh, shoved in a corner somewhere. We've managed to rearrange everything. So tonight, you'll actually get a bit of conversation between the two of us, rather than just me shouting away on my own. Um, so hello everyone in the chat, good evening. Uh, it's it's brilliant uh, to have you all with us. I can see the chat is actually really busy tonight. So I am going to just pop out the chat and make it a bit bigger so I can see you all because it is super busy tonight, which is awesome. I'm so pleased. Um, if you are in the chat, just go on to Twitter, go on to Facebook, go on to any social media you're on at the moment. Just give us a little reshare. Give us a little retweet, a bit of a share, a bit of a comment, whatever. Just get the message out that we're broadcasting now because I promise you, Tonight, this maybe not this first race, but the second race we have lined up is going to be chaos. It's going to be absolutely <laughs> mad. So for people who are new to Formula Pi, uh, the format is as follows. We have five robots on the track tonight. Each of the robots is fully autonomous. We don't control them. We have no idea how they're going to go. We've got five people uh, competing up against each other purely in software alone. Um, we have no control over them. Uh, the rules are if they crash or stop, we can't interfere. We just have to leave them where they are. So there's no way that we can pick them up and put them back on the track if things go wrong. Um, so that is kind of where we're at in terms of uh, in terms of the rules, basic rules. Uh, each race is going to be 10 minutes, so fairly quick. So without further ado, I will uh, start the spin, spin view, which introduces each of the people who are racing tonight. So first up in the Yeti Ball class, which is the smaller ones of the classes, we have on the far outside Spark CC from West Gosford in Australia. Uh, they came fifth in the Eliminators with a, a time of 2.0715, which is fairly good. It's a I mean, the competitiveness this year has been so brilliant and I'm so pleased for them that uh, they got a fairly good time nailed on. So hopefully tonight they'll do really, really well. Hello, fellow Aussies, by the way. Yeah, Tim's an Aussie, so he'll be rooting <laughs> for you tonight, definitely. Uh, next up, Pacto Parrot from Poole in the UK. Uh, finished fourth in the Eliminators, but that is not reflective of the performance they've had in the heats. They came second overall in that, I believe, and have really put in some really, really strong lap times. So for them... I love that parrot. It's such a good lid, isn't it? It looks so <laughs> brilliant. Uh, next Both. up uh, from France, from Villa Roche, just south of Paris, is Team Le Roux Carré, uh, which literally translates to clumsy feet, or clumsy, sorry, clumsy robot. Uh, there they are in the top right. They built little sections of the track to test out their algorithms because they've got their own monster ball from the Kickstarter that we did, uh, or the Yeti ball, sorry, Borg, yes. from the previous Kickstarter. So yeah, good luck. They came, they came first in the Eliminators, so hot favourites tonight to win this. Uh, next up, we've got Gareth and Autologic, the team from Wheatley in Oxfordshire. They came second in the Eliminators, so got a strong time as well. Really not that far behind LaRue Carré, and they've been back and forth. So hopefully it will continue tonight and they'll keep battling on uh, all the way through. And finally, from Painted Post New York, we have Bebot, who started the series really strong with a couple of first places in their heat. And then it all kind of fell apart. They struggled in a couple of the last heats. They came third in the heats and they came third in the Eliminators last night. So I wouldn't rule them out. They're not one to, to rule out of the wins here. They've done so, so well. Um, and I mean, it's, it really is anyone's game in this. These final five robots are so equally matched in their code. They're really, they are completely different code. We've, we've looked at all the libraries as they've pushed them back. They are completely different. I can, I can look at Tim and he agrees. They're different. They're all different. They're they all are. good. Okay, so we, we have five. We are ready to go. We're ready to go. So the we'll light sequence, light sequence is green, red, green. Uh, start the light sequence, please. That's Tim, our uh, radio oh, up to Aaron, who should be trackside tonight, uh, doing all of the uh, the controls there. So red, green, red. Sorry, green, red, green, and then we'll be away. <laughs> we we'll get that the wrong way around. Uh, and we see the green light to see if we get five away. And we've got five away. Brilliant. And they're all deciding on which line they're going to take. And it looks like. That is Bebop getting the lead in the first corner, closely followed by Leroux Carré, Auto Logic, Pacto Parrot, and then Spock CC bringing up the rear. Now, Bebop did so well in the heat, and they really did streak ahead of the class. But like I said, their form dropped off as they got to the end, but they're just gone. Uh, Leroux Carré and Auto Logic have. Uh, miles ahead, have, aren't they? They are, they really are, and they're, they're just getting a little bit stuck. Leroux Carré okay. deciding where to go. I think there's been a bit of a stop between Spock CC and uh, Pacto in the S's. I'm not sure if anyone stopped. Okay, all five are still going, so we are still moving here. 
but this is looking good. Uh, yeah, I can see uh, Gareth is in the chat tonight. Uh, think positive. Yeah, man, think positive. <laughs> You're doing well. You're doing all right. It's still moving. It's all good. Uh, I think you are now in, what, second place? Let's see. Yeah, pretty good. Um, so, Aaron upstairs is on the Updatatronic. You saw the periscope. Oh, there's been a bit of a crash on the first straight there because there's a little tussle between two of the robots. It's difficult to see who it is from this distance. Uh, but on the far side at the moment, it's looking like I'm just confirming with the Updatatron to see who is coming around to complete their next lap. Everyone's on two laps, so this is looking really evenly matched at the moment. We haven't got anyone who can sort of clearly run away with it at the moment. I'm waiting for Aaron to update. That is Bebot, I think. Bebot and Auto Logic are so close here. They're neck and neck. I think Bebot just has the lead there. And uh, actually, no, sorry, LaRue Carré has gone past them both at some point and has clocked up the, th the first of the third laps. Backwards uh, action there. We have backwards action. Someone That's has Spark CC is reversing around the track. So they are, uh, you get negative points for, for uh, doing a reverse <laughs> lap and you have to unlap yourself if you do a reverse lap. So That's not good from them. But we currently have four robots on three laps. We have... Um, we have Spark, Spark CC who's on two laps. Uh, LaRue Carré, I think, has just snuck into the lead there. I think they are one lap ahead, colliding there with Spark CC as they get themselves going the right way around. Uh, and in joint second place, we've got Paxo Parrot, Auto Logic, and the team uh, Bebot in uh, third place. Uh, I'm, I'm Someone's upside down there. Someone's upside down. So the green bottom robot there is Bebot. They flip themselves upside down. So the, the robots have coloured bases so we can see who they are when they flip upside down so we don't uh, lose the lids and don't lose who they are with their numbers. So the, the green based robot there is Bebot. Uh, nicely matching the alien though. Good colour coordination. <laughs> uh, which makes it easy for me to tell who's who. Uh, we're settling down now. LaRue Carré has taken the lead here. So currently uh, leading in this final we have LaRue Carré. The issue with this new setup, Tim, which I really didn't think about... Uh, You're not looking at my screen. No, I'm, I'm definitely okay. not looking at your screen. But the chat's all the way over there and I can't see it. Oh, very good point. So uh, this, is yeah. a, this is a new thing for me because usually I'm really close <laughs> to the chat so I can keep in touch with what everyone's saying. But it's actually a long way away from where I usually sit on the microphone. So We're not ignoring you. We're not ignoring <laughs> you, I promise. I can see it's really active, it's really busy. Uh, yeah. So somebody, uh, Electric Motorcycle is asking how many laps is this? We do it to time, it's 10 minutes. Um, so we're currently at three minutes, so we're about a third of the way through the race. It's neck and neck between LaRue Carré and I think that is number 40, which is Paxo Parrots. Oh god, there's so many on three laps. It, it, second place is going to be such a tight call here for this final, I really do think so. Spark CC are a little bit off the pace, so I'll do a little bit of a recap here. So at three and a half minutes, we're currently looking at... Uh, let's see, I'm just getting my papers over so I can work out who's who. Um, LaRue Carré is on eight laps currently in the lead. Second place just on uh, seven laps is Paxo Parrot. And then it's a really close run thing. I think that is number 77 Auto Logic coming through for their seventh lap. So they're in third. In fourth place is Bebot and in fifth place is Spark CC. But it really, there is only a couple of laps in it right here. This is so close. Um, this is looking really, really good. Uh, I can see Adam is in the chat. Uh, Formula Pi veteran. They were last year's champions in uh, the Yeti Ball class. So Aaron is your man for all the information. If I'm not answering answers quick enough, um, Adam is there to help you out. Uh, it, I'm, I'm, we really didn't think about this, did we? Um, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's it was not well thought through. It's nice having you next to me so I can actually talk to you. <laughs> but it's definitely... Uh, oh, there's a bit of a crash there between LaRue Carré and Bebo just coming together there in the S's. Uh, but a pirouette on the top of another robot there. was a lovely little bit of uh, just jumping over the robot it's a little bit like the vault in gymnastics it's beautiful uh, but LaRue Carré is still in the lead now two laps ahead of the rest of the competition uh, it's neck and neck still for second place it is really close I think Paxo Parrot just have second place here I think they are a, a, a beak ahead I'm going to say <laughs> uh, of the competition it's dreadful I'm really sorry I'm not sorry at um, all. I have um, to put up with these puns all the time. Literally, he has to put up with my puns all day. <laughs> all day uh, long. What did I say the other day? Oh, it's the, the pun I did about Pringles. Because you said, why is the man with a bow and arrow on the front of the box of Pringles? And I said, mate, you know, what was it? May the odds always be in your flavour. <laughs> that was it. So, yeah, that, was, that, really that, that is the stuff he has to put up with all day. A so, I think there's a, a marketing business. There is a marketing, marketing business within there. If you, if you need any puns, <laughs> then I'm your gal. I will get it sorted for you. Uh, maybe I'll always be in flavour. Uh, anyway, at the halfway mark, back to the racing, obviously. Uh, in first place, we have LaRue Carré. Uh, in second place, we have Paxo Parrot. Third place, we have Autologic. In fourth place, we have... 
Bebop and in fifth place we have Sparks CC. I think we've settled down now. But second place is still up for grabs. I think there's about half a lap in it. You can see LaRue Carrier there just coming into the S's with Auto Logic behind them, but they are two laps off, I think. Um, there's a little bit of slowing down going on in those S's. Mm. A little bit of uh, just tentative I think it's a, work. A really good strategy if you're in the Monster Ball class, but I think the uh, lower power motors just can't really cope with that strategy of, of mm. uh, tight corners. Yeah, I, th I think they, they like it a bit, bit more loose, loose cornering. Um, I'm intended to agree. You know, just oh, there's been a bit of a crash there. Paxo Parrot and mm. Bebot just stopping each other. I think that might slow Paxo down a little bit. If Auto Logic can get past Paxo there, that will put him in second. Uh, so let's have a look. If somebody's asking. Uh, I think was the, the only uh, was the only sensor on board a camera. Yes, it is. This series, yes. Um, we do have we did an announce in the blog about having some IMUs on board yeah. this season. So uh, in this class, uh, we have a Raspberry Pi Zero, we have a uh, a Raspberry Pi camera, and that is the the only input. Uh, the Raspberry Pi Zeros are not the Ws, uh, so they don't have any sort of uh, internet connection or anything yeah, like no that. No Wi-Fi, no Bluetooth. Um, so it is really just down to the code uh, as you're actually looking at uh, the image that's coming to the camera. Uh, the Monster Ball class, which is on next, uh, ha is basically the same, but has a Raspberry Pi 3. And next season, uh, what we should have is a uh, uh, a few more sensors, uh, including Ooh, a... There's a crash uh, between Bebop and Spark CC there. Mm. Uh, just slowing down Bebop and Spark CC. Just stuck there. Yeah. Uh, but uh, including uh, localised GPS, uh, inertial measurement, uh, if... if uh, everything goes well mm. so uh, that we'll go through that in the break though we've got loads of videos to yes, go through that do. in the break we so do. back to racing we have two and a half minutes to go so we're at three quarter mark uh, it looks like the Rue Carrier are walking away with this now they are three laps ahead they are currently on 16 laps second place Paxo Parrot now who have got a, a good lap ahead of Auto Logic in third place here uh, in fourth place it is Bebot and in fifth place Spark CC I think everyone's settled down now I think a little more because we've got to stop Robot Auto Logic has stopped. Oh, oh dearie no. me. That is a third place robot. So now the question is can Bebot do anything to catch up? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's it's quite possibly a, uh, a switch on top. It is. It was, did somebody mount? I wasn't mm, looking. Yes. Oh, so the switches on top of these robots can easily be switched off if a robot mounts on top of another robot. And uh, we saw that last series happen quite a lot, which is why we did redesign the monster board so the switches are underneath. So that's less likely to happen. But that looks like that is game over for Auto Logic. But with a minute and a half to go, and Bebop being a lap behind, they might make it into third oh this is peril oh this is peril this is so much peril oh oh, oh i'm so sorry gareth because you've done so well this was going so well for you early in the stages you're battling ah no bebot's got stock in you so it's fine you're all right if they can't get around in a minute you're third you've done it you've, you've sussed it it's fine uh that is auto logic that's stopped number 77 uh tragic we've got a minute to go now on this uh so uh this this could be terror this could be absolute terror. Uh, also, shout out to Mike Horn in the chat tonight. You've obviously managed to have your fish and chips. You've abandoned your meeting with Tim and you've decided to come and watch Formula Fighter. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you for that. Somebody else has stopped as well. I only see three robots moving. Someone stopped on the start finish line. Can we have a look at that, please, Tim? Uh, uh, who are we missing? That is Bebop. I can't quite see who the is still there. Who is that stopped over there? We've got a blind spot. It's Paxo Parrot is just moving. So I would say. That, that is Spark CC that have stopped as well, so I think that is race over for them as well. Oh, this is peril. 20 seconds. Can uh, Bebop get round to the finish line before the end of the race? If so, they have beaten Auto Logic into third place. There they are coming around the last corner. Can they do it? It's 10 seconds to go. Can they get across the line? I think they can. Oh, that is such a shame. That has pushed Auto Logic down into fourth <laughs> place from third. And with 2 1, that is it. We are that done. That is the first race up. Okay, for the, Nailed the, uh, Ball, on. Okay, My goodness me. Uh, that was chopping and changing. That was, I thought that was going to be a fairly leisurely race. I didn't think much was going to be going on. And then all of a sudden, boom. It was just it was hideously busy. Um, so, yeah, that's it for the first race. Um, yeah, and uh, meeting. So Mike says meeting is later, but fish and chips was consumed heartily. Good man. 
Uh, and yeah, shout out for the Pie Wars windmill just gently turning in the corner. Uh, if you go and check out piewars.org, uh, that's my strong advice if you want to find another excellent robotics competition in the Cambridgeshire area or in the UK. I travel from Scotland for that, it's awesome. I travel from the moon for it, it's so good. Really is good. Uh, it's a well worth trip out. Um, so, as Aaron wrangles the robots, he runs around the track. He runs around the track. <laughs> he is our official robot herder. Um, he will herd them and put them into their little shed for the night. I will recap the results. So, in fifth place, uh, with eight laps, we have Spark CC. In fourth place, with 13 laps, and just pipped at the post, we have Auto Logic. Uh, in third place, with 14 laps, B Bot. In second place, our favourite stuffed avian competitor, Paxo <laughs> Parrots. And the winner of the Yeti Borg final for 27 for the summer 2017 series is Leroux Carré. So uh, congratulations! I don't Hi. know what congratulations is in French. Uh, I need I need yeah. Alan in the chat room. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> paging Alan McCullough, please, uh, into the chat room and let me know. Uh, but congratulations, guys! That's an excellent result. You've done really well, and you stepped it up towards the end. And we could just we could see that uh, that, that you were going to do so well for this tonight. So, so you'll get the uh, amazing trophy. Um, yes, I can first place trophy. I can that, put uh, up a, a picture of the trophy. Uh, yeah. Let's let's drag it here. So the trophies uh, look like this. So you will have one of these trophies eventually winging its way to you with your name rather than Enigma because these were last year's trophies. Do you not have uh, one with a? Uh, there you have a. Moving. I do have a moving one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry about that. Moving. I do have a moving. There, there, there we, we go. go. There, there we go. go. So now you can see it in its all of its glory. Uh, it, it changes colours. It's very beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, it is lovely. Uh, it spangles with the light of a thousand suns. Um, it's very very good. Um, and it's beautiful. Tim, you've just done my thing for me. So I, I have. Oh, so, such a uh, wonderful host. Should we do it? Well, no, because we okay. need to do sponsors. We need oh, to do all right. You know, well, see, I'm excited. Things. I just want to get in. Um, but yeah, this the monster bogs are going to be amazing. So I have a little message like halfway through just before because I know that people are going to be tuning in for this one because this is the big one. Hang around at the end because we have a lot of exciting news that we're going to we're going to spill at the end. All of the things that we couldn't talk about and could talk about, and some exclusives that we didn't know we were going to be able to talk about, but we now can now now can. Mm -hmm. So please hang around. Don't just click off when we're done because because we're finished. Some um, but not all. Some but not all. Majority of though, and some really exciting new things. Some but not all. Yeah, <laughs> don't undersell it. <laughs> oh, I want to keep people anyway. Yeah. Right. So, uh, without our lovely, lovely sponsors and our lovely, lovely Kickstarter backers, we wouldn't be here. So thank you, first of all, for backing the Kickstarter. If we did, we loved you. If you did, we love you it's forever. Um, but first up, Blogtrotter, uh, making your RSS feed a piece of cake. Uh, lovely RSS feed aggregation services straight to your inbox, and it makes your news feed a treat. Go and Ooh. check them out. Uh, next up, IQ Audio, wonderful hats, uh, DAX and amps, and all sorts of things for the Raspberry Pi. So if you love audio and you love the Raspberry Pi, they're an obvious choice. Go and check them out. Uh, next up, Mod My Pie, our favourite resellers down in Kent. We love uh, Jacob and the guys. They're absolutely fantastic. They sell everything you need for the Raspberry Pi, Arduino, Beagle Board, you name it, they've got it. Go and check them out. Next up, Hop Hackers, a brewing collective from Canterbury. Uh, they do brew days, so if you want to learn how to make beer, get in touch with them on Facebook, see if you can pop along to one of their brew days. They're, they are wonderful people. Check them out. And finally, SOS Solutions in the Netherlands. Selling into Europe, they have the micro bit, they have Arduino, they have Raspberry Pi, they have everything in the world. Go and check them out too. If you're interested in sponsoring the next season, please uh, drop us an email. Info at Formula Pi, we have some sponsorship packages. Uh, you can get your name on the boards, on, like everybody sees. You'll get a little shout out from me. We'll send you tweets. We'll do all sorts of things. Um, and we really appreciate it because it helps us keep this running. Because obviously, we do this for the love of it. It's not free. Um, it takes time. And we're doing this at silly times at night when we mm. should be at home having our dinner. Um, because we love it, yeah. basically. Um, so now we've done that, I will explain the difference for, for people who are new here. Just a quick uh, explanation of the difference. I think I have a picture of the two robots side by side. That one? That was cool. So the first class you saw on the left here was the Yeti Borgs. These are the smaller robots. They've got 6 volt, 180 RPM motors in them. They have a Raspberry Pi Zero underneath them. They can do 5 to 7 frames a second in terms of image processing. So... You can see what's going on, but you can't really be that reactive to what's happening. So if somebody all of a sudden ends up in front of you, it's kind of like, oh, oh, there's somebody in front of me. Like It takes a little bit of time for it to work that out and actually you know, code something to do something about it. On the right, we have the Monster Ball class, which frankly has been absolutely chaotic, this series. Uh, they've destroyed bits of the track. They've destroyed themselves. <laughs> um, they've launched into the bits of the track that we didn't expect them to. Um, they're much bigger. They have a Raspberry Pi 3 inside them. 
Uh, they have 12 volt, 300 RPM motors. They can do up to 30 frames a second, is that right? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm just wondering, uh, people are saying they're having some connection issues at the minute, so I'm yeah. just wondering if there's anything that we can do to check. Uh, it does look like it's quite happy, does it not? It's it's okay. Um, we have had some internet issues during the day today, but it's been pretty stable this evening. So if it does continue, um, we'll try and reboot and see what we can do. But I think I think it's okay this end. I'm not I'm not entirely sure. Mm. Um, that would be devastating if it is. Um, at the moment, we're getting health as good though from the YouTube feed uh, from the the feed on there. So I'm 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 assuming it's okay. Um, Yes, uh, so there's, there's the, the difference in the classes for those who are new to this. So, uh, they're really big, basically. But we're about to kick off on the monster ball, because I think Tim's just t checking OBS to make sure. Can we just... Sorry, we're just going to have a little pause whilst we check the feed. Uh, that's what we're getting over there. You can go and have a look and see what you think. Okay, I'm going to check. We have had... Uh, I don't know if um, anyway. So I think you're just going to have to have me waffling now whilst Tim investigates the internet because I think we may be having some connection issues. Um, Tim uh, may or may not have said we had big storms here last night. Uh, they went all night long and it's been a pretty hot and sticky, clammy day, and we're expecting more storms tonight. So uh, it could be the internet. It has been a bit fishy during the day, but we thought when we tested it before we went on air, it seemed okay. Um, so, so who is Who's finding it fine, I guess? Who Who's all right with it? I'm going to get rid of this so we can actually... I'm going to get rid of a picture, actually, so that you can actually see something moving on the track or not moving, as the case may be. Um, I'll change some angles so we can see what... so you can see some changes. So how's that for everybody? Is that better? Okay, we're getting some people saying it's good at the moment, it's all right, it's settling down. Okay. I think, I think we're good. I think we're all right. Tim's done a few tests. Okay, it's good. Everyone thinks it's good. All right, all right, okay. I can stop panicking now. Right. Oh, I don't have a moment. Oh, do you want to just tell Aaron we're having a little bit of pause and we're just slow, no, but we're all doing... Fine. Okay, he knows what he's doing. All right, so we're all right now. Whew, stop panicking. Anyway, so now I've done the difference in classes, you know the difference. These robots are much bigger, they're much faster. They do much more frames a second. Um, they are horrendously quick, so my commentary is a bit frenetic when it gets to this, so I might end up hitting Tim. So, like, domestic abuse alert. Um, so, you've done with SpinView. So here we go. I am going to introduce the next five robots up for the Monster Ball class, the bigger class. Um, and first up, Raz, uh, Rasparis del Infierno from Madrid in Spain, who actually made the Formula Pi final last year. They came third, um, so they've got form. Uh, they're really, really good. Uh, they came fourth in the Eliminators, have been really good, I mean, outstanding during the racing, have been so good this year, made some real progress, so hopefully tonight they'll be able to go maybe one or two better and see how they do. Mm. Next up, my personal favourite, the IT guy, who <laughs> nearly gave us a heart attack during uh, the Eliminators last night when he mounted the wall three times and still managed to put in the fastest laps ever. Uh, average lap time of 14 and a half second. Cones owns the current lap record as well. So expect him to be fast, but absolutely bonkers. Uh, next up, we have I have five, another previous Formula Pi competitor. Made it to the Eliminators last year, but didn't project progress any further. But this year, went one better, made it to the finals. Came third in the Eliminators. So for them, again, hoping to, to get better results this year. You've already done better than last year. Fifth is better than the result you got. So anything from here is a complete bonus. Next up, Lambda P Racing came fifth in the Eliminators last night. Just sneaked in with their time. Interestingly, the, the only robot to run a full Java library. Everyone else is running a Python library. But Lambda P have written their library from scratch, and it's all their own work. So they are completely different to the other robots, but still super competitive. Really looking forward to seeing how they get on. Indeed. And next up, we have the Halo Goodalls. Uh, again, previous Formula Pi competitors came fifth in the final last year. So again, they've got form. Um, came second last night in the Eliminators with an absolutely astonishingly set, good set time. Only a second off the IT guy. Um, so did really, really well. And between these, these five robots, only seven seconds over ten laps separated them. So this is going to be so tight. They are so evenly matched. And 
I know that four out of the five of these robots dive for the inside corner <laughs> as their first move. One of these robots goes for the outside line. <laughs> so... This could be carnage. I think, also, I think one of the ones that goes for the outside line is on the inside of the start as well. Mm. So he could just sweep everyone out. <laughs> this is going to be mad. Did I see somebody insulting Fortran coding in the chat? We'll come to that in a minute, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'll raise that with you, Mike, later. Um, <laughs> so we're ready to go. We are now ready. we've sorted the connection stuff out. We're all settled down. We're all good. Okay, good, can good, we good. start the light sequence, please? So, good luck, everyone. Stand sequence. by your beds. This is so exciting. Uh, green, <laughs> red, green, and then we're good to go. I am... Ab- Absolutely terrified. That green light has been on for a long time. Right, we're off. We're off. We'll go. Good luck, everyone. And they're off. They've gone. Uh, They're already crashing. And I can see that the Halo Goodalls are first through the corner. Come on, that is clean. I didn't expect that. Complete surprise. But the Halo Goodalls are taking the lead. I have five, and the IT guy are crashing with somebody else. And Lambda P is closely following the Halo Goodalls there. The Halo Goodalls are taking an early lead. Um, That is brilliant. The red robot upside down, that is the IT guy who's obviously struggling to get out of the corner, but he is away now. The Halo Goodles have got taken the lead. Somebody else has flipped upside down and he's going backwards. There are two people crashed on the that start was line. A head on. That was a head on. That is horrendous. But both robots have survived it and now everyone seems to be settling down a little bit. That was a lot calmer than I thought it would be. Um, that is really, really calm. So, just settling into things now. I think the Halo Goodles still have the lead, closely followed by Lambda Crew. And yeah, we are all settling down to this. This is brilliant. Somebody's spinning around. Oh, another head on. They've just taken on the Halo Goodles and slowed them down. Oh, Raspberry Sanofiano bouncing and going flipping upside down. Lambda P avoiding that carnage. Uh, Yes, stay away from the barriers. That's my pro tip. (laughs) Away from the barriers. Uh, That is the Halo Goodles and I have five heading on. I have five trying to convince the Halo Goodles to go the other way and Lambda P have now joined them. Uh, I think that is the Halo Goodles there just going across the line again. Good. So they've just got another lap in, I think. We're all something down. I think that was actually the Halo Goodles might have stopped and Lambda P have now taken the lead. So we have Lambda P in the lead by one lap. I think the Halo Goodles got stopped by a few robots in that. I think, is that someone stopped though? Has someone stopped? I think that is one robot stopped. It does look like someone stopped. That is Lambda P who have just stopped under the start gate. Oh, that is, that is such a shame. Is that a reset or is that a stop? Oh no, it was a pause. It was a delicate pause. It was obviously just, he's having a bit of a breather. Like, oh, this is a bit much. I'll just stop and have a bit of a breather. And we're all right. So, back to the competition. We're about to hit two minutes. This feels like a lifetime already. <laughs> but it was only two minutes. Um, so, still in the lead, Lambda P. Even with that slight pause, in second place, it's the IT guy who, after, despite flipping upside down, and, oh, chaos there. <laughs> I have five. Uh, the Halo Goodles. And that is Raspberry Sunny Fiona having a big old fight. Someone's going to end up in the gravel. Someone's going to end up in the gravel. Uh, <laughs> there's going to be a big push into the gravel here. Um, somebody in the chat says, I have no idea what's happening. Yeah. Join the club. Uh, <laughs> we are just waiting for everyone to settle down. At the moment, it is a tie between Lambda Pi and the IT guy for the lead. Uh, in, in its joint third place uh, for the Halo Goodles and Raspberry and Fiona. I think the Halo Goodles have just caught the fence for that, which puts them in third place. Uh, in last place, it is currently I have five. Uh, but we're all still settling down, waiting for everybody to get the results. Uh, it looks like Raspberry and Fiona, and Fiona might have beached themselves there on the old barrier. Um, yeah, I think the Halo Goodles w- uh, were going backwards, but are now going the right way around. There they are. They've just gone past the, hair- the hairpin and going into the S's, but they are chasing Lambda P. If Lambda P has another p- a pause like they did before, the Halo Goodles definitely have a chance to carry on and get past them because they are yeah, they're looking pretty speedy. They're, their laps are looking really good. And in, in time to practice last night, they were brilliant. I mean, absolutely fantastic. Uh, Raspras and Fiano appear to have beached themselves on the headband of corner, which I think maybe race over for them if they can't get off or if somebody doesn't give them just a delicate shove. Um, oh, George, I'm, I am so sorry for you because you've done so well this series. Made it onto the Hall of Fame last year in third place, but I think that could be game over for you there. Uh, lovely little bit of tight corner in there between I have five and the IT guy going around the corner. Notably, uh, Jamie, the from the IT guy team, you've stayed off the barriers and you've not given us a heart attack. Congratulations on that front. Uh, we approve of that. Um, so... We are about the third way mark through the race right now, and it is a dead heat between Lambda P and the IT guy. I think Lambda P is possibly a, maybe a half a lap ahead at the moment. Uh, this is absolutely crazy. And yeah, George, I think that is it for you, and I'm about to fall off my chair. Sorry. <laughs> Hang on. I've got a new chair. I'm about to fall off it. There we go. I'm back on it. I'm back on it. I'm safe, everyone. Uh, yeah, George, you were going so well. You had an absolutely astonishing start there. 
and it's just not it's just not worked out for you I'm so sorry um, incidentally uh, the winning team will carry on their code and that becomes the base code for the team that's next year so we're actually slightly terrified about having a Java library and we've, we've been discussing amongst ourselves what we might do uh, I think we may run a, a Python library alongside the Java to give people an I option think I, think. I think that makes sense but this is brilliant, there's an absolutely fantastic coordinated driving there between the IT guy and Lambda P with the green robot of the Halo Good. Oh, look at that. Three wide round the corner. Absolutely brilliant. And I think the Halo Goodles have just snuck past to unlap themselves from Lambda P. That is this wonderful. Is some great racing. This is an absolutely fantastic racing. And there's some really good avoidance going on here. This is brilliant. Wonderful uh, formation driving. Really enjoying this. This is not as crashy and as chaotic as I thought it would be. Look at that. Lambda P and the IT guy just gently coming around the corner. The IT guy is really nice and taking some good lines here. They're not as crazy as last night's lines. <laughs> you go back and look at the eliminators if you've got time because those lines were absolutely mad. Yeah, and this is solid racing. I'm really enjoying this. This is this is really really good. So just past the halfway mark, I'll do a recap now of where we're at. Uh, we have sadly uh, Raspberry and Tiano beached themselves on the wall early on there. You can just see them on headbanger. They're in fifth place. In fourth place with 12 laps, we have number 27. I have five. Fortran coders have been up the Fortran coders. Um, number 33, we have the Halo Goodles that are in third place, looking pretty strong and actually catching up really quickly. So I, I'm, so they're actually putting in some really quick laps and making good progress on the IT guy who's in second place with 17 laps, uh, just got 18 laps, and with 19 laps in first place we have Lambda P. Uh, this is getting really good, and the pace of the Halo Goodles here is absolutely phenomenal. They've caught up very quickly. And it wouldn't surprise me if they're going to be challenging the IT guy for second place because it's any small mistake, and that could be it for them. That, that could be the end of their day. Um, this is absolutely... Actually, now they're only one lap behind the IT guy. This is phenomenal. The Halo Goodles are storming through here. Um, I am I am just brilliant. Uh, it's so good. Somebody's asked, how about an off-road series next year? We could just cover this track with dirt and gravel. <laughs> And sweep it up at the end we, every uh, day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I vote for not. Mm -hmm. Please. We uh, we actually do have something along those lines uh, that we're investigating, uh, but um, it won't be next season. Uh, oh, okay. It may be next year for uh, yeah, next summer series. We may do something along those lines. Oh, George, I'm really sad for you on the barriers there. I'm. Oh, I'm oh. But the, the Halo Goodles here, just, just going into shot there. Uh, so we've got the IT guy there first, then I have five, then the Halo Goodles here. Look at their lines. They are going green all the way round. This is so tight that I think they could get themselves unlapped here from the IT guy. This is looking tight. We've got three minutes to go on this race. And I'm, I'm not convinced that this is nailed on for the IT guy, you know, I think. Because yeah, look, the they've guy. just taken the inside line there on the IT guy and unlapped themselves. If they can it's do it... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. I'm, I'm looking at this. Oh, okay. I'm looking You're at looking this battle. Third, yeah, I'm looking at second and third. It's not all about the first place. Okay. You don't. Well. You don't just watch Lewis Hamilton, do you? When you go and watch the F1. Well, he's not always in first place. You watch Kvyat smashing into everyone else. That's what you go watch. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, we've got two and a half minutes to go before we end this. Um, yeah, and yeah. Mike Horn in the chat has a very good point. Everyone's doing a wonderful job of avoiding George. Um, oh, the Halo Girls have just spun round and they're going backwards. Oh no! So that puts. Oh, that now that. Oh, that could ruin it. That could absolutely ruin it. They've just turned round and they've collided with the IT guy now. So effectively, have unlapped all the good work they've done. Uh, but they have stopped the IT guy momentarily. Now the IT guy is going the wrong way around. Um, so that's. Uh, oh, they've collided. Into the, I have five team now. Oh, flipping themselves over the barrier. Please don't put anyone else over the barrier. The Halo Goodles had the honour of being the first people to punch somebody over the barrier. They've now spun round, they've redirected themselves, they're going the right way. Great, we're back on form now. Uh, but I think that has paid, I think that has put rest to their chances of catching the IT guy now. They are now two laps down. Um, I have five with one lap behind them. It can still happen, a minute and a half. The average lap last night was about 15 seconds, so we could get in maybe six or seven more laps before we have to call it a day here. Um, this is going to be tight. I, I, I wouldn't want to call this. I think Lambda P are doing really well. So in the last, we're going into the last minute. Quick recap: uh, fifth place, number twenty-two, Raf Preston and Fiano. Uh, fourth place, I have five. Third place, the Halo Goodles. Second place, the IT guy, and first place, Lambda P. Uh, with two, I think they've got two laps in hand now. So I think Lambda P are going to, unless there's some. Oh, there's been a crash. Who's this? 
uh, little blue light I can see. That is I have five of Crash with the Halo Goodles, I think. Oh, the Halo Goodles are getting into all the scraps now, just having a big old fight. Uh, it's really scrap. So there's Lambda P, and I think that is I have five as well. I'm just getting that upside down now. The blue and the white are really difficult to tell the difference between the two. Oops, somebody else is on the barrier. Okay, we're into the last 30 seconds now. Uh, I think. Oh, this is still. There's only a lap between the <laughs> IT guy and Lambda P coming into the last 30 seconds. We can get two laps in here. Oh, this guy's so close. There's only two laps left here. Come on, let's give them all a cheer. Let's see if they can get round. Come on, guys. Let's see if we can get this done and get this nailed on. So there's the IT guy just coming round to complete their 30 second lap. This is astonishing lap counts. Absolutely brilliant. Um, we were hoping for high lap counts and we have not been disappointed. So 10 seconds to go. Uh, 10 seconds left in the race. We're nearly done now. This is it. Uh, two, one, and that is it. We're calling it. So that is the end of the race and oh my goodness me Aaron nearly ran out of paper on the update uh, with all the 35 laps for the winner so in reverse order I'm going to give the final results so in last place with three laps it is Ras Paras del Infierno and I'm so sorry George you got beached because your early laps were so so good I would have loved to have seen you complete that. It would have been absolutely phenomenal. So congratulations for getting this far, though. Equally, I mean, making the Formula 5 final two years on the trot, phenomenal. Good job. I uh, hope to see you back next year as well. And thank you so much for your help with the timer and the spreadsheets. George has done a lot of help, actually, um, helping us organise things and keeping us on track during testing. So we can't thank you enough for that as well. So, yeah, big shout-out to George and the team at Ras Paris uh, In fourth place, we have I Have Five, uh, who have completed... I think Aaron's actually written this down for me now. 25 laps, which is pretty good. That's a respectable number of laps, despite a few crashes yeah, and a few place. flips. Yeah, fourth place. So that's really, really good for them. So in third place, we have the Halo Goodles uh, with 30 laps. Really good result for them. Going two better from last year. So that is brilliant. They came fifth in the final last year. They're now third this year. That's absolutely brilliant. Amazing work, guys. Congratulations, Richard, uh, Jasper and Ozzy. Um, that is brilliant. Your board will make it up onto the Formula Pi Hall of Fame. And I'm so glad because that 3D printed lip was amazing. Mm. Uh, in second place with 33 laps, it's the IT guy whose speed was absolutely phenomenal. He owns the lap record at 13.63 seconds and did an average of 14.5 seconds in the eliminated last night despite being absolutely mad and mounting the wall three times. But still, uh, Jamie and the team, I've seen you and your wife Nicole in the chat tonight, so hello. Um, and congratulations, second place, absolutely brilliant. And in first place, with 35 laps, it's Lambda P, uh, Lambda P Racing, who did 35 laps. And that is all we had written down on the paper. There was only enough room for 35 laps. That was it. We'd have had to have called the race if you'd gone any further. <laughs> so that's it. So we're done. Um, so these results, somebody's asking how do these results compare to last season's. Uh, completely different because we ran the Yetis only last year. We didn't run these robots last year. So this is the first time these have ever been run. Uh, I don't think 35 laps is the most laps we've had in 10 minutes. If from memory, I think IQ Audio may have managed 36 in one of the heats. Yeah, I think we certainly um, went out, outside of the page at one stage. We did run out of paper. Um, but but yeah, it, it's fantastic. for the Yeti Ball class, I would have to check my notes. Um, but yeah, this is congratulations, everyone at Lambda P Racing. That was a phenomenal effort from you. And, and I, I know how much work you've put into that library and getting it working and how much it's, it's taken for you to do that. Uh, so congratulations. So. Before anyone goes anywhere, don't leave. Um, don't go anywhere. We have some exciting stuff to show you with you. Right. So Tim's given me some lovely things that I can share with you. Um, as well as doing Formula Pi, you know us from, Pi, from PiBorg. Uh, we make robotics kits for the Raspberry Pi. You can also use them with the Arduino and any other boards that have I2C compatibility as well. That we do them as sort of cross-compatible things. But we mainly focus on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, we have a new robot kit. Uh, it was the one thing I couldn't show you in the periscope. It was the thing I had to kind of delicately dance around when it was on the desk. Uh, but we're going to show you a picture right now of our next robot kit. And we're actually really excited about this. I'm excited because of the colour. Um, <laughs> but everyone else will be quite excited as to how it looks. So here we go. Introducing Diddy Borg 2. This is the upgraded version of our really popular Diddy Borg kit. Um, it's going to look like this. Um, as you can see, I'm going to bring the mouse onto the screen so I can point at some stuff. It's got some extra mounting holes here which allow you to mount ultrasonic kits. We've got special mounts that we're building and now we've got a laser cutter. We can build all these things on site. And also if you've got any special requests and you want slightly different mounts, we can adapt the designs for you. So we have the ability to make these 
a bit more bespoke for something that you want. P- Mike says purple. Yay. I know. <laughs> I approve of this. Um, what you can't... Am I allowed to talk about the other feature? Am I allowed to talk about that feature, how it is over there? Oh, yes, yes. This is also... You can stack these. So you can have as many levels on top of each other as you want. So you can mount more and more things on top. Um, there's also a variety that can't... Am I allowed to talk about that one as well with the, the bit there? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, also, there's a hole where you can mount a servo towards the front, so you can have a nice little servo uh, that you can move things about with. This is coming soon. This is very, very soon. It is almost ready. We're just doing the final design tweaks for it, so this is coming very, very soon. Uh, this will be hitting our shops, and it will replace the Diddy ball that we used to sell. Uh, it's a, the design's a bit neater, and like I said, it's produced entirely by us now internally, and we've got our own uh, motors that we have produced by Jane. So they are motors bespoke for us. So Michael Horn is asking how the uh, speed compares to the V1. Uh, it's the same motors as the Red Edition, the faster So these uh, are the 12-volt ones? Yeah, 12-volt. Uh, this also has uh, a switch on it. It uh, runs through our new Thunderbolt motor controller, so uh, you get an, a RGB LED with it. And... Uh, and the uh, the motor controller is now no longer mounted underneath, so uh, it's well well protected. So um, yeah, that's that's that. That's that. Um, we just had a really good question actually. Um, Jasper Haley Goodall, who is on the Haley Goodalls, who's just come third. Congrats, well done. Has just asked, is there going to be a Diddy Ball Grace series now? We're not doing a Diddy Ball Grace series, but we no. are doing something that is much much more exciting. Um, which I can show you a little video of that. Is that this one? Yes, that is a teaser of something which is very likely to happen. Right, this is this not is something guaranteed, but yeah, this is not guaranteed to be happening. But this is something we are thinking of doing as another class. This is this is like Monster Borg plus plus. So, so we Jasper, are, we not are Diddy Borg. Thinking Borgs, of but... dropping the uh, the Yeti Borg class, mm-hmm. keeping the Monster Borg class, and having an additional class which will look something like so this. So I'm, I'm kicking this off. This is the code and uh, all the stuff that we're using. So it's, uh, I think it uses part of an open source library to begin with, so it will be more accessible than the previous code. But this is how fast it will be. The laps are nine seconds. This is four seconds faster, on average, than the last laps we were doing uh, with the Monster Balls. These robots are completely different. They're completely new, and we've been working very, very hard on this. Oh, where did the video go? Well, that is. Is that it? Yeah. Is he, it's just a short. Just a, I'm going to play that again. It's a sneak peek. Is, I'm just going to play that again so that everyone can see that because that was just so good. Um, if you just watch this last, just this last bit, yeah, I can see the reactions. I can't say that word, but Andy Warburton, yes. Um, this is what the top level series is going to look like, and this is how it's going to run. Um, so, if you're up for this. Because we are. Um, this is of, we're not intending for this to be like, oh yeah, let's get into autonomous roasting. Let's just do this. Um, but this is going to be the top level class. And we are hoping, uh, I'm going to play it again, because, you know, third time's the charm. Um, it, I, I love this. I could watch this all day. I've seen this thing running uh, in real life, and it is terrifying. This is not sped up. This is, this is not edited footage. This is how it's going to be. Um, it's phenomenally quick. It's ridiculous, um, and obviously you can see the kit is a little bit, um, a little bit jury rigged, a little bit jimmy together. But yeah, we're going to be running this hopefully. This this is a prototype at the minute, um, yeah. but uh, obviously we'll build this into a into a proper class. So uh, yeah, um, that is uh, the uh, the responses to it uh, are looking quite good. So I think we'll probably do this. Yeah, I think everyone's um, pretty stoked on this. So, so what we're going to do is... We're going to need bigger walls, yes. We're going to need bigger walls. Uh, that's probably true. I'm going to need safety gear. These things are going to be coming through the, the actual white walls around the side of the track. They're going to be leaving dents. Uh, they're actually smaller than the Monster Borgs uh, in size, but it's the speed. Yeah. Um, they're just so much more agile. You can drift these as well. You can get a four-wheel drift. Uh, yeah, I want ramps, I want jumps, I want everything. People asking where do we sign up, uh, oh, just send us an, up? an email to uh, no, Bible. Uh, uh, get in the shop. Oh, okay. Get we, in the shop. we have All a new right, shop. That's a very good uh, yeah, somebody's saying shin guards for Aaron. Yeah, I'm going to be getting him, like, you know, um, like field hockey goalkeepers or ice hockey goalkeepers? That. He's going to have all of that kit sitting in that little corner. I might need to corner. invest in a polycarbonate um, shield. Yeah, so basically our advice, if you want to find out more, we have a new shop, which we've just, I'm like 100% promo mode right now, and I'm really sorry about this, but it's the only way we can get out. We've got a new shop. At the bottom of a page on the shop, when this scrolls down, if it goes all the way down to the bottom, which Tim should if he's been a good boy. There you go. You can see where it says newsletter at the bottom there. 
pop your email address in there and we're going to start having a more regular newsletter where we're going to let people know about things that are appearing in our shop, events that we're going to be at, um, Formula Pie stuff. Just let you know about everything that's happening with us. Also, you can message us. You can see the little message at the bottom. You can ask us any questions and we'll answer you uh, on, I think that goes through Facebook. So, uh, yeah, you can talk to us. You can ask us questions. Just go and sign up there. Drop your email address in and we'll be popping out a newsletter every so often to keep you informed with everything that's going on. Also, if you want to sign up for Formula Pi for next season, you can go here and sign up. Uh, there is a Formula Pi entrant for winter 2017. Uh, if you just sign up, I think at the time we'll let you decide which class you want to enter. It will be the same price for both classes. So if you if you're like if that intrigues you already or you still want to race, it's shop.pyborg.org. Just search for Formula Pi, sign yourself up, and that's it. You'll be in. And if we run, I think we are going to run that class. But if, if that's on, we'll let you opt if into that if class. If you've got an entry, we can certainly transfer yeah. you over. So, so that's not not a problem. Yeah, that's it. Uh, Adam is asking bots available to purchase before the series. <laughs> uh, don't know actually. Mm, we shall try. It, that that is actually really difficult because uh, it's fairly easy to get uh, ten or fifteen robots for the series built up, uh, but it, actually making a production run is uh, is quite difficult. So uh, yeah, we try our hardest, but it's not always possible. It's because a lot of uh, this is turning into like a Q and A now. This is yeah. like uh, this is like it. We could we could turn this into a Q and A thing. We here, probably if you don't mind. at some point. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if if we um, yeah we we could do it as a kit, um, but obviously for us like. Like the Diddy Borg, I just showed you the, the rework Diddy Borg. That's taken quite a lot of time for us to get to a point where we are happy to sell that. Because for us, you know us, the quality has to be there. It has to be of a high standard. We have to be confident in the build instructions. We have to be confident in the electronics. We have to be confident in the hardware, the software, everything. Like We're, we're fairly complete when we do things. Um, so, uh, yeah, the Monster Borgs on the website do say out of stock. Um, but you can sign up for a... a a message to say you can buy a monster board. You can get them, they but it'll be, be a couple available. of weeks. Yeah, in a couple we're, of weeks. We're shipping the Kickstarter ones first, and then we'll be starting to sell them. But yeah, put your email address in the monster board page if you want a monster board, and then you can get one of them. The super fast robots are not available anywhere at the moment, so don't even look for them. We don't even have a name for it yet. Oh, well, we do, but we can't tell you. Um, <laughs> Uh, some, Jasper says you can't not do it now you've shown it yeah I know it's always like that we do that with Doodleborg people still ask us if you can buy Doodleborg we wish we'd never done it um, <laughs> the final bit uh, final final bit and this is this is less promo right um, so we have a blog uh, we have a big blog on the Formula 5 website which goes through a lot of the technical things about uh, learning about how to do autonomous driving and learning how to use the libraries and software so if you are a member of the series and you do have the libraries and you want to experiment, head on there, have a look at some of the blogs, get some advice and see what you can do. And we are in the process of releasing an open source version of the library, or have we done it? Tim Breeden. Uh <laughs> Is there a monster dying in the background, apparently? There may be. <laughs> okay, you could probably turn off uh, any monsters that are making horrible oh, little oh, monsters. Oh, Tim's just raiding <laughs> up to Aaron to say, uh, can you relieve the monsters of their pain? Now, uh, <laughs> they've had enough, and they're like, ah, I can't run anymore. It's quite possibly uh, the windmill that uh, that's spinning oh, it there. it could be. Uh, that has a very slow rotating mo uh, motor on it. Um, and it, uh, you can't yeah. really hear it when the other robots are running. Exactly, so, uh, yeah. it, it is drowned out by the monster Borg noises. But, <laughs> Somebody uh, said we should call the uh, the new faster one Zipborg. Zipborg. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. I'm making a note <laughs> of that one. Uh, <laughs> that one will be going in the list of things to do. Um, I guess that's it. I think we're done. Yeah, that is we probably, probably sign it. off. Everyone yeah. needs the dinner. We've been doing yeah, this now. Exactly. Right now. Um, yeah, and I want to be in time for, for, for Maker's Hour, which is starting at 8 o'clock. I'd like to go and make me carbonara and then do that, please. <laughs> so, um, thank you so much for everybody being in the chat tonight. It's been an absolute pleasure. Um, Thomas says he will blog about the Java code. Thank you, Thomas. Uh, drop us an email and we'll promote that. Uh, that'll be wonderful. Um, yeah, and we'll discuss what we're going to do with the with the winning code. I imagine we're going to run a, a Java and a Python version so yeah, that it's will. accessible for everybody and we can, we can um, deal with both. And but obviously uh, the prize for coming first in the MonsterBorg series uh, is actually a MonsterBorg. There we go. So, um, Thomas, so you're getting a MonsterBorg. you've got a MonsterBorg and uh, that amazing trophy. Yep. And uh, second and third place also get a nice uh, same sort of trophy, but obviously it says second and third place on it. Yeah, and mm. prizes... Uh, we have some bits from uh, IQ Audio. Okay, so there's um, some lovely audio bits and pieces. 
and uh, some bits uh, from from Mod My Pie. So uh, ah, lovely. Yeah. So yeah. So see next season. We're definitely going to do next season. Shop.pybog.org and look for Formula Pie. Sign up if you want to race. And we'll be in touch nearer the time. It's probably going to run around October time, I'm assuming. September, uh, October? Off the top of my head, I can't remember. Okay. Uh, but yes, we will. We'll, we'll as, let you know. As soon as we can. Basically, we'll yeah, let you know. We'll... But we, we love you all very much. Thank you for watching. Um, if you want to follow us on Twitter, we're at pi underscore Borg or at Formula Pi underscore. Uh, my name's Claire Pollard. I'm at the Tufty with two eyes. Um, this is Tim, who's been sitting next to me, who's at Boff Blescu. Um, there's also Aaron, who has been upstairs doing the lovely timing. He's loitering behind me right now. He's not on Twitter. Um, but <laughs> if you talk to us on the forum, you're more than likely talking to Aaron because that's where he lives on the internet. Um, so, yeah, thank you very much, everyone. It's been an absolute pleasure. And we will speak to you in a few months' time, I think. Yeah. Oh, it's sad. I don't like that signing is, off. It is quite sad. Thank you, everyone, for Yeah, competing. thanks, everyone. And thank you to the competitors. Well done, everyone. Well yeah. done, Lambda P. Well done, everyone in the final. It's been absolutely thanks fantastic. To, thanks to the sponsors. Thanks to the competitors. Thanks to people who just watched. Yeah, and, just um, thank you, thank yeah. you, thank you. Exactly. All the thank yous. Indeed. Yeah, right. That's it. <laughs> BK Taco says, why wait, let's start now. Let's not. I need to sit down. It's your eliminator that finished me off. I was so tired on Monday after that. It was terrifying. Anyway, let's go before I start waffling. <laughs> right. So thank you very much, everyone. It's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, we'll see you later on in the year. Take it easy. Um, bye-bye for now.